We're going to solve a system of three equations and three variables, and we're going to do it a couple different ways. So hang on, this is going to be a long process, and I'm going to go kind of quick. So the first thing to reckon, the first way we're going to use is called substitution. Substitution basically says, says you're going to take one of the equations, doesn't really matter which one, but sometimes it's smarter to use one of them over another one. You're going to take one of the equations and solve it for one of the variables and then you're going to plug that in to another equation, solve it for one of the remaining two variables, plug that into the last equation, actually you're going to plug both of those into the last equation until you get just one variable and you can solve then for one variable. So that's the process. So let's do it. We're going to solve this equation. Again, it doesn't really matter. Let's solve it for z because that will be easier to do. So z equals negative 2x minus 7y minus 53. Make sure you don't make any mistakes. We're going to plug that in for z right here. So when I rewrite this equation, now I'm going to use color coding here. When I rewrite this equation, it's going to say negative 2x plus 3y plus, and I'm going to leave that equals negative 13. So I'm plugging in now, I should have maybe done that in green. I'm plugging in negative 2x minus 7y minus 53. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to combine this together. What do red and green make? Do they make purple or something? I don't remember. Let's say it's purple. I'm not an art teacher. So adding these together, I get negative 4x. Adding these together, I get negative 4y. Moving, well, I'll just keep negative 53 equals negative 13. Now I'm going to solve this one for y. I could choose x or y, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to solve it for y. So that means I'm going to add 53. I'm going to do a little shorthand here. Adding 53 to negative 13 gives you 40, right? Yeah. And subtracting or adding 4x to both sides is going to give me 4x, right? Yeah. And then I also have to divide, so that's negative 4y. So I have to divide by negative 4. So y equals negative x minus 10. Did I do that right? Uh, yeah. Good. Now we're going to take that and we're going to plug it back in to here. And we're also going to plug that original black equation that we had back into here. And in fact, we're going to plug that purple one back into here also, because that's what y equals. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite my equation, my blue equation. I'm going to rewrite it in blue. The x's are going to stay x's. The y's I'm going to substitute in, and the z's I'm going to substitute in. Got what I'm doing there? So let's first substitute the black one, and I'll, I'll just use black color. So the black one will be the z, so that's negative 2x minus 7. But now I'm not going to substitute, right? I'm going to not put y. I'm going to put, I'm running out of room. I'm going to put that equation, that purple equation, back in there. So what was y equal to? Negative, negative x minus 10. Negative x minus 10. Got what I'm doing? So now the beauty of this, this is going to be a dark blue now. I am I'm now going to have one equation. I'm distributing this in here. Negative 3x minus 30 plus negative 2x. Distribute that negative 7 and the, and the negative x. That's a positive 7x, right? Negative 7 times negative 10 is a positive 70, right? Yeah. Minus 53 equals negative 45. Notice how many equations do I, how many variables rather do I have in this one equation? Just one. I have one so I can solve it for that one variable. So I'm going to solve it. So that's 3x minus 2x is 1x plus 7x is 8x. I've got 8x and I've got that's 40 minus thir or 53 is negative 13 but I'm going to add 13 to this side. So 8x equals negative 32. I do that right? This is where you can make silly mistakes anywhere along the way, so don't make silly mistakes. x equals divide by 8, negative 4. Now that I have x, 
I can plug that into here to find y. So y equals, so that's actually positive 4 minus 10, which is negative 6, right? And I can plug both of those into here, up there in the original one, to get z. z equals negative 2 times negative 4 minus 7 times negative 6 minus 53. So my answer is z equals 8 plus 42 minus 53. Did I do that right? So that's 50 minus 53, which is negative 3. So there are your answers, negative 4, negative 6, negative 3. And you can check it by plugging those in to all three of each of these, and it should work in each of them. Because after all, what we have is three different lines in three-dimensional space, and they're all intersecting at one point in this instance. Okay, so that's how you do substitution. The second way to do this problem is with, with what's called Gaussian elimination. This method is called Gaussian, Gaussian elimination, or I think sometimes maybe it's the Gauss-Jordan method I, is what I remember, but maybe, maybe I'm confusing some things. But this method does the following. You're going to combine two of the problems and eliminate one of the variables. And com or two of the equations, and then combine another two of the equations, doesn't matter which ones, and eliminate that same variable so that you now have two equations with two variables. This, to me, is an easier method if you're doing the longhand method. So as you can see, an easy variable to eliminate in my head is the x, because right away I can just combine these two and eliminate the x. Adding them straight down is going to give me 10y plus 2z equals negative 66. See what I did? I eliminated the x. Let me write this 2 a little bit clearer. And now I want to eliminate the x in these two, the red and the blue. To eliminate the x in these two, what am I going to have to multiply this second, the, the red equation by? Yeah, multiply it by 3. So if I multiply that by 3, I'll just write it underneath here. That's going to be negative 6x plus 9y plus 3z equ equals negative 39. And now when I add those together, I get 12y plus 4z equals negative 84. Did I do that right? Looks like I did. Okay? Now why did we do that? Because now we have a 2 by 2 equ equation. Two equations with the same two variables. And how do I eliminate? Well, you can do it any one of the ways that you did 2 by 2. You can do it either by elimination or substitution or graphing or matrices. But again, we're not going to talk about matrices yet. So I'm going to multiply this equation right here by negative 2. Let me not use, let me use purple. When I multiply this by negative 2, I get negative 20y minus 4z equals negative 132. And now when I add them straight down, I'm going to eliminate the z's. So this is negative 8y equals negative 218 or 208. I meant negative 216. And then y equals, if I divide negative 216 by negative, negative 8, what do I get? And I just realized a mistake that I made, so let's go backward and fix that mistake. So I knew something didn't look right. That number right there should be a positive, not a negative, because I'm multiplying it by negative 3. Negative 60, wait, what am I multiplying by negative? No, negative 2. Negative 2, um, so that here should be a positive 132. Uh, ah, that's better. So this would give us negative 8y equals 48. Uh, and that's better. So obviously you don't want to make silly little mistakes like I just did. I'm going kind of fast and made a mistake. So, but I caught myself. So y equals negative 6. And that's the same answer we got before. Now that we've got that, again, you do the substitution thing. 
you plug that back into either one of these problems, either one of the y's, let's plug it into this one right here, and then solve for z. So negative uh, 60 plus 2z equals negative 66. So 2z equals negative 6, z equals negative 3. And now that I found z, I can plug those both in to either one of these here, any one of these three, negative 3, um, negative 6, and then to solve for x. So I'll do that down here, 2x minus 42 minus 3 equals negative 53. So that means 2x minus 45 equals negative 53, which means 2x equals 8, which means x, sorry, negative 8, which means x equals negative 4. And you'll see that those are the same three answers that you had for the other system, the other way that you did this problem. The third and final way that you'll see in a textbook to do these is with which with what is called matrices, which is actually a lot easier if you're allowed to use your calculator. But I'm not going to do it in this video. This was the video for the longhand elimination methods.